<laughs> Welcome gamers, get ready to dust off your VCR so cassette tapes because we are diving headfirst into the world of retro gadgets. That's right, we're taking you back to the good old days of the 1990s and early 2000s. So if you're ready to relive the good old days of clunky keyboards, CRT monitors, and floppy disks, if you know what those are, then you are in the right place. Before we get too far into retro gadgets, I do want to thank Keymailer and the developers for sending me this game. This is a very fun game to sit around and tinker with, and now I apologize, this video is coming out months late due to I've had a baby back in February, transferred jobs, and still going through school. It was a big chaotic mess, but I'm ready to get back into it now that I have some more time as things get even. Out. Now, if you're really interested in retro gadgets, why don't you follow me and let's go ahead and for real dive into it. Let's go! Alrighty, listen up my fellow crafty comrades. I'm a craftsman and I'm going to teach you how to make your own crazy contraption. Wow, that's a lot of alliteration. So let's shake and shimmy our way up here. Grab yourself a board what the cool kids like to call them PCBs. We've got them in all shapes and sizes. So pick one that speaks to you and go crazy. Oh, so you want to go big, like bigger than Kanye's ego? Well, buckle up, buttercup, because you are in luck. Just solder the white lines together. Now, getting the white lines to line up is tricky. It's once you're done fighting with the white lines, take a step back and look at your beautiful creation. Don't give me that look. You know it's supposed to be a rocket, right? Now whatever your twisted mind is thinking of, just make sure you keep an eye on the shape, okay? We don't need any rogue rockets flying around. Congrats! Now that you've shaped your gadget into something less brick-like and more device-like, you are a true Michelangelo of tech. But let's not stop there. It's time to give this baby some input. Ready? Alright device, I expect nothing but the best from you. You got it? I might have messed up here. These inputs aren't cutting it. We need something a bit more stimulating. Something that will make the users feel alive. So let's get to it. You can flick a switch. You can press a button. Or get some joy out of playing with your stick. Your joystick. You dirty bird. Or maybe you're more of a knob person. Hey, no judgment here. Whatever floats your boat. Or your knob. Alrighty folks, now that we've given our gadget some sweet inputs, it's time to get some outputs from our gadget. Come on gadget, give me your best shot. No matter what you say, it can't hurt me. Your mustache is stupid, and so is your content. Oh man, that's... that's kind of mean. Okay, moving on from my sensitive ego, let's put some screens or some <clears throat> blinky lights on this thing. So that we know it's actually doing something other than insult. Wait, what do you mean that nothing is happening when you click a button, flick a switch, play with your stick, or twist your knob? Hello? Obviously, you need to program it first. I mean, come on, this isn't rocket science. Didn't we talk about rockets earlier? Right, well, programming should be a breeze compared to dealing with insult spewing gadgets. Before we can make this gadget go beep boop bop, we gotta give it a brain, and some memory, and all the other fancy gizmos and gadgets that make it tick. So let's slap a CPU on this bad boy so it can think for itself. We don't want it to rely on us for everything, do we? Before we can get into the nitty gritty of coding, we want to give their gadgets some memory. You know, so it can remember all those hurtful things it said about us and work on being more supportive. So, if your gadget has a screen, well, you're gonna need a video chip and men, let's be real, size matters. The bigger the screen, the bigger the chip. Unfortunately, that's how that works. Okay, folks, let's hit the pause button on our retro gadget just for a moment and really thank the real MVP of the internet. No, the subscribe button that's just down below. You may have not have made it, but boy, can you work it. Go ahead and go down there and give it a good click and watch the magic happen right before your eyes. It's gonna go from red to gray and saying subscribe to subscribed. That is what we want. That will change your life. Now let's go ahead and get back to our retro gadget. That may not change your life as much as that button just did. Let's go. Last but not least, 
let's add some sound. We're not living in the 1920s with the black and white films and the cards that you gotta read. No, let's place a sound chip on there and get ready to rock and roll with some funky tunes. So let's get cracking on the coding, shall we? I say get cracking on with coding. I kind of lied. I can't teach you about coding because, you know, with a new child, a new job, and juggling school, I didn't have the actual time to sit down and learn to code. <laughs> but I'm not going to leave you in the dark. You can go to Retro Gadget's YouTube page, and there's a couple of tutorials there that you can watch and learn how to do the things there. And it's Lua. Lua? L-U-A. I'll put it somewhere there and that should be able to get you in the right direction of starting to code. Now, I hope you can forgive me on that. As we begin to wrap things up, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This is something new that I've wanted to do for a while. I have attempted it in the past, kind of failed at it, because I didn't put as much thought and plan into it as I did for this one. After playing around with the game, I can recommend it if you have time and creativity to make the gadgets of your dreams. Again, thank you for Keymailer and the developer sending it out, and I apologize for being months late. I hope this video makes it up to you. And again, last time for the coding, I hope you can forgive me. Another thing I did kind of leave out is you can download a whole bunch of community-made things, and there's a big forum and things on Steam as you can look if you want to learn more tips and tricks about it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and a comment down below and tell me what your gadget was. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.